Assistant Attorney General did research pulling in other elements of uh, uh, defense spending. So this describes uh, American priorities of uh, this describes our medical spending and waste, uh, defense waste, uh, uh, anti-terrorism waste, debt waste, uh, of excessive criminal corrections waste. And this tiny sliver here is the only thing you really get out of it. It's tangible, which is education. And um, in theory, you could be spending all of this wing if you didn't weren't bound to these other things. Um, so it's quite dreadful drag on our economy. <clears throat> so. information. In the New York Times is a reporter who goes out and actually says, if I can find this guy, uh, he says, uh, it's uh, the chess match last week between Colonel Muammar of Gaddafi, a visitor from the remote steppe of southern Russia, who traveled to Tripoli to promote chess and other schools in case it honest the devil. The is a country of only 6.5 million people, oil rich, but still, in many ways, dirt poor. He promoted terrorism abroad. That they don't mention Nelson Mandela, do they? Compare him to other crazies. This is a completely pro-rebel line claiming it's dirt poor, not mentioning a support of it's pure. Well, you sir, John, have the to call this country uh, dirt poor, and not to mention these accomplishments. So this is touching upon, um, uh, let's see, I also noticed on MSNBC, as soon as somebody started about Buffy not being mad at all, Good Morning Joe cut him off and moved this conversation on. So there's, and there's no statements regarding uh, uh, this uh, level of development. And I believe that that covers most of the issues here that I wanted to present for this piece. We need to make these murderers fear for their lives and hold them accountable so they stop doing this to other people's systems because it actually makes us more vulnerable to corporate control to wipe out all alternatives because we have no way of citing another example. Uh, in, uh,